Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I hope you guys are doing well. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about this topic as well triggers. Okay. So I thought like, uh, why can't we discuss this topic in detail? So here you are not going to just uh, understand or just uh, get to know about the triggers. Uh, rather, we'll be covering uh, something like creation of table, insert record, update record. Okay. First, let's see how we can handle the trigger for the insert. Okay. So for that, what we can do is we can create a table called. So let's create a table. Okay which will hold the audit okay so i will remove this table for now because this is already there with us so in order to create a table you will be writing create table and then table name okay so our table name should be something like uh, employee underscore audit okay so here i'm just going to have just two columns okay <laughs> so the first column we are going to create is audit id okay so audit id that will be of integer type and then i want this column to be of identity type okay so that the value will be incremented automatically for each and every record okay and the second column where i will be storing all those text about uh, the new record that is being inserted into the table so that name will be audit uh, details let's say let's make it as capital d okay i want this to be as of varchar okay let's take the size as 500 so now if you execute it we will have our table as employee audit okay let's execute it so done now let's do one thing let's write here something like select star from this okay so as of now this will not have any record right and let's write our main table also so select a star from what is that employee okay so as of now we have these records okay now guys what we want to do here is uh we want to create a trigger okay so let's create a trigger i am going to modify this trigger at the uh, latter moment to adjust it for delete operation as well but for now let's create it for the insert operation only okay so we can write create trigger okay let's name the trigger as uh, employee trigger okay so after this you need to write on which table you want to create this uh, trigger so our table is employee right so on employee and then what is this trigger for so we can write after insert so you want to execute this trigger after insert okay then you can write as then let's say begin and okay so guys let's create a temporary id okay which will be of data type uh, integer okay so for that we need to write declare okay so declare this okay now this id is going to store the employee id of a new record that we are going to insert into this employee table okay so you have to write select at the rate tr id is equal to employee id right so this employee id okay employee id from and then you have to write inserted okay so this inserted is nothing but referring to this employee table okay now since we already have the tr id okay so what we can do is we can insert we can insert the value into this audit table okay so let's write one insert statement which will insert into our uh, audit table so insert into and let's take the table name as employee audit okay so employee audit then values okay values here we are going to insert the value for the audit details because audit id is going to be populated automatically okay because this is an identity column so for that what we can do is we can write something as text okay so let's do one thing okay let's uh, store the name as well so let's uh declare one uh what we can say temporary name as let's say where care uh for an example i can take it as 100 okay okay and then let's do one thing let's write select at the rate your name is equal to we'll be taking this employee name as well okay so we can write employee name from inserted okay so we'll be taking both id and name and we'll be populating this audit column okay so for that let's write some string so what we can write here is a new record with employee id okay and then let's give that 
and then here guys we can write plus okay and then we can use cost and what is our employee id so we are storing in the tr id right so we can write tr id as where care let's say 10 okay execute this okay so i think we are missing one bracket okay so i think we should be good now so let's execute this trigger so done what we are going to do is we are going to insert a record into our employee table so as of now if you see this table does not have any detail okay so let's do one thing let's uh, insert one record into this table employee table okay so insert into employee okay values so what are the columns we have here so we have employee id so that is identity column we don't need to provide anything for it so for employee name i'm going to give as uh, let's say uh subham okay then we have city okay so let's make the city as uh chandigarh it is quite long but let's give the name as chandigarh okay then the next thing is date of joining so let's make it as get date okay and then we have salary okay so salary can be 345 anything 0, 0, whatever and then department id so let's give the department id as one let's execute it as soon as i execute it okay one record will be there in the employee table as well as this table will be populated because we have this trigger okay so let's execute this so one row is affected if you now query the employee table we'll have that uh, record for the where is that subham okay let's make it as order by one day is okay so that don't have a lot of confusion so subham is coming at that now let's query this table employee audit okay so if you see we have one record created okay so if you see what it is saying a new record with employee id 28 and employee name subham has been created on september 20 2023 okay just little bit of gapping is required so let me just put it here so we'll take this opportunity to show you how you can alter this trigger as well okay so here what you have to correct is you have to correct uh, 28 and okay so where is 28 here you go and okay so what you can do here is you can write this okay or you can just give the space and employee name subham as subham has okay so subham has okay, okay give the space here and uh, has been created okay so i think this should be fine so let me just alter this trigger so this is done okay so now let's insert one more record to see whether our update is uh, showing uh, more precisely or not okay so let me just uh, change the name with uh, Preeti. city can be we'll go and this can be let's say nine okay nine oh come on so this can be this okay so let's execute it so now let's query this table so if you see we have created one more record with preeti okay now now if you try to query this table you will be seeing that record as well so this is the one right so employee record with 29 and employee name preeti has been created on this state okay so our trigger is doing its work okay so guys let's uh, modify our trigger so that it can handle the delete operation as well okay so whenever i delete some records from the employee table my history table should be updated with that record okay so that i can use it uh, in future if it is required okay so for that what we can do is uh, let me do one thing let me take the table structure of this employee table to create a new table called employee history okay so for that let's go to the object explorer and then we have this table right so you can right click and then escape table as create to new query editor window okay so this will generate a table script for the existing table okay so what we need is we need this thing right so let me just take this okay i don't need this as of now okay so what we can do is let's remove this right because this is not required as of now so we want to create a new table called employee history okay so for that what we can do is 
we can use this script and we just and we can just modify the table name as employee history okay okay guys let's, let's execute this table okay employee history so if you see we have created this table called employee history okay so now let me just see that so let's see that okay so we can write select star from employee history okay so yes we have this okay now what we want to do is we want to update our trigger okay so here after insert we want delete as well right so you need to write insert comma delete okay and guys here uh, since it is inserting right so i do not want to touch this i simply want to write this for deleted okay so what we can write here is we can write insert into i want the deleted to be inserted into this employee history okay so employee history and then uh what are the column names we have so we have the same column name as this right so employee id all these things so let me just take all these details from here okay so employee history or function one so i just can take this details okay so let me just do that. okay okay so i want to insert into this table okay and then i will write select so we want to use the same column name uh, from the employee table as well so what we can do is we can use the same columns here so this from deleted okay so whenever you delete something uh that will be inserted into this table okay so let's modify this trigger okay so already have the alter here okay so what we can do is we can use this and let's execute it okay let me go to this table okay and now so which record you want me to delete i will delete this uh, 29 okay so let's see how you can delete it so you can write delete from the table name which is employee okay where employee id so employee id is what is that 29 okay so let's do that so as of now if you see employee history does not have any detail okay so let's delete it from the employee table okay guys so see what mistake we have done so this employee id from uh, the employee table is having value of 29 right so we are trying to insert uh, employee id 29 into the first row which is not possible because employee id is the identity column okay so what we can do is we can remove this identity column from here okay so guys let me do one thing okay so uh we can do one thing we can drop this table okay and we can recreate it so we can drop this table so drop table and this is the table name we have employee history over so i want to drop this table so it is done right now i will be recreating this table but will not be keeping this okay so rather i will make it as a primary key okay remove it now let's create this table employee history okay so it's done let's uh, do one thing so what we have now we have 29 okay so let's delete this again okay so it has been deleted from this table the employee table see 29 is not here right so preeti is gone now if you see this employee history you will have that record so preeti whatever we have deleted from this employee table that is there okay so that is the huge case of trigger guys so i hope you like the video okay so milte hain next video mein till then bye bye take care